Hi, I'm Zali Krishna from the Entropy Circus. We're going to be putting out our first cassette this century um, in the next few months. So I thought we'd make some videos where we talk about uh, the different aspects of this process. The first one we're going to talk about is what is a cassette? Now, people still use cassettes these days increasingly because of the retro factor, but in case uh, you don't know about them, this is a cassette. Or more accurately, this is a cassette case. Because notice we open it up and you see the cassette is right in there. There it is. Two reels. Uh, goes from one to the other. You can see brown tape there, that's magnetic tape right there and these turn around and it plays music non-digitally this is analog and smells a bit of smoke cigarette smoke um, because I found this in a uh, dilapidated building um, which is the normal place to find cassettes these days because uh, well you, you can buy them but uh, mostly uh, normal people don't use them they throw them into dilapidated buildings and it was, it was being squatted, I think, for a while, which is why it smells of cigarette smoke. It doesn't smell of piss, though, so that, that's a good thing, isn't it? Anyway, so what, what you do is you'd get your cassette, and you'd get your cassette player like this, and put it right in there. You'd press the play button. And if this hadn't been torn out of the perfectly functioning cassette machine that it originally was, um, you'd start to hear beautiful music or whatever else they put on this. Now, now the cassette has all of the disadvantages um, that you can imagine as a format. Um, it's linear you play everything on one side and then you play everything on the other side. It doesn't even have the advantages of direct access that uh, vinyl has, where you can take the needle and put it straight onto whichever groove you like and scratch the grooves and uh, damage the vinyl, which cost you too much money. Um, and of course, compact disc, that, uh, that marvel of the 1980s, when that came out, that improved um, this direct access uh, so much. But uh, of course with a cassette, uh, when, when you'd, you'd pick one up, you might find it wasn't wound to the right place, you'd have to wind it backwards, that would actually take time. And But then once you did get it to the right place and you did get it playing, you would be rewarded by absolute crap sound quality. These, these things sounded um, dreadful. Now, of course, this is where you write on the comments thread about your wonderful cassette deck that you happen to own and how it sounds really good on that. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm just jealous because I have this cassette deck instead. But that's not true because I've got another one right over there. Anyway, so Cassettes, they, they, they sounded terrible, and one of the major advantages for um, older recording people was that you could get multi-track cassette recorders, and they would have four tracks, and so they'd use the stereo tracks, one and two on the first side, three and four on the second side, but you'd be playing the whole thing all at once, and all of those would be mono, and yeah, th those usually sounded quite hissy as well. Um, you spent a lot of time trying to adjust to get rid of the background hiss. Some of them had Dolby, so that you could get rid of the hiss, but you'd get this awful sort of boomy tone to them. Um, but but there th th were creative ways that you, you could get these to sound not terrible. And, and so th this, this was how I started uh, recording in the late 80s and I continued to do so until I got a nice 8-track reel-to-reel -reel machine where it's wider tape and uh, far more expensive tape and uh, I, don't th I think there's one company that, that still makes that now. And, and, and so yeah, um, that's, that was my analogue recording history and 
I ended up uh, un until about uh, 2000 producing several cassettes full of material. I say several because I can't remember at the moment and I can't be bothered to look it up and actually find out how many that was. But um, but yes, so cassette holds a very special place in my heart uh, because it was where I came from. You would record with multi-track cassettes and you would bump those down, mix those down onto... Um, Onto a onto another cassette on your home set recorder, and if you had a tape to tape, two tape machines on that, you could then make copies of your cassette like this. In it, either you could do it in real time, which would mean you'd have to listen through the whole thing, turn it around at the end, or of course, if you had you were fortunate enough to have a high speed deck. You, you could record it sped up and that would sound very funny because it was like chipmunks and and yeah by this you would save yourself time and you would also uh, reduce um, the quality of your recording so when you were giving people copies of things you could be assured that they wouldn't sound anywhere near as good as they would have if you'd put in the time and energy to you know, actually sitting there and listening to it again because the stuff you were doing was such genius that it's really interesting to listen to. Now, I might make this look like it was a, um, a straight transition from uh, cassette to, uh, to digital, but um, there, was a, there was actually a sort of an interregnum because we had these things... Uh, mini discs and uh, mini disc players that this one actually still works or would do if I had it charged up um, lovely piece of metal there um, that would that would take a bullet for you if you happen to be in one of those places where bullets fly around a lot of the time and these these were great because um, you, you got rid of all of that hiss and so on and therefore I'd use those for mastering too and then I could record from those to make uh, copies of cassettes and so on. And of course you're thinking why didn't he just burn up some uh, CDs and of course CD burning wasn't available to everyone immediately. Sure it was fantastic when it came along but now there's Nothing I hate more than burning up CDs because that's really tedious and Windows usually fucks up somewhere along the way and I normally end up wanting to kill myself. So instead um, of all of that, uh, I, I usually do download only to save my own sanity and not have to break every computer that I buy. Um, but all of that's to the side. We are going to be making cassettes. First time in over 20 years, we're going to be making cassettes. In the next part of our series, we're going to go on to um, why we're doing cassettes. Well, <laughs> there is a good reason for that. And, um, and more to the point, why these cassettes are going to be different from all of the other cassettes that every other musician, sound sculpture, um, sound trackerista or whatever has to offer you. The, the, these, these are the real deal. The, these are better because every single one is going to be different. Yeah, so you're looking forward to that. Anyway, so more from that soon and uh, thanks for tuning in.